Ringworm in dogs. Symptoms, cause, treatment and prevention. Ringworm in dogs is a zoonosis, that is, it is transmissible to humans. It is extremely contagious. It is therefore very important to know how to spot its symptoms in order to consult the veterinarian as soon as possible so that the dog can benefit from adequate treatment. But what causes ringworm and can it be prevented? Let's do a check-in. Ringworm of the dog. A very contagious mycosis. Ringworm is a mycosis also called dermatomycosis caused by dermatophytes, parasitic fungi, and more specifically by microsporum canis, but other fungi can be the cause such as trichophyton mentigraphytes or microsporum gypsium. These particularly affect puppies, but adult dogs can also be affected by this canine skin disease. The fungi that cause ringworm are extremely resistant. They feed on dander that falls off as well as dead hair. This is enough for them to withstand in any environment for several months. Ringworm is therefore a very contagious disease that can affect different animal species as well as humans. Parasitic fungi grow on the dog's skin, between its claws and on its coat. They gnaw the hairs so much that they become brittle and then fall out in clumps. Each fragment of hair affected by the parasite infects healthy humans and animals. Contaminating sources are extremely numerous when you have a dog affected by ringworm since his hair is everywhere. On the dog's brush, in his basket, on the living room carpet, on his master's bed, whether he is allowed to climb on it or not, on children's toys, car seats. The risks of contamination also exist where the dog never goes since the animal's hair that clings to clothing is transported from one place to another if we are not careful. You can therefore be contaminated even when you have no direct contact with the animal. Ringworm in dogs. Symptoms. Dermatomycosis can be identified by the following symptoms. Slowly evolving circular skin lesions. They can be found on the body of the dog, but they are even more frequent on the legs and the head of the animal. The perimeter of the affected areas is inflamed, scales, scabs, broken hairs, more or less diffuse hair removal depending on the areas concerned, alopecia, pellate, especially in short-haired dogs an inflammatory and suppurative tinea lesion, called a kyrian, knowing that each lesion may contain pus and be painful, claw damage. More rarely, ringworm can be asymptomatic, that is to say that it does not cause any symptoms that allow it to be identified. However, the animal which is then a healthy carrier, is just as contagious. It is strongly recommended to consult the veterinarian at the slightest suspicion to prevent the inflammation from spreading but also to limit the risk of contamination of everyone around the animal. Ringworm in dogs. Diagnosis and treatment. Diagnosis of ringworm in dogs can be confirmed through three distinct methods, namely, examination of dog hair by Wood's lamp. This is an ultraviolet lamp that can detect the fungus that causes ringworm because it usually produces a yellow-green substance that fluoresces under this type of light. Microscopic examination of animal hair that has been eaten away by ringworm. Cultivation of hairs taken from one of the areas with a lesion. The results only come after several weeks. The veterinarian only opts for this method when the two previous ones have not given convincing results or when the results obtained are negative. After diagnosing ringworm in dogs, the animal is treated either with a natural antifungal such as essential oils, or with homeopathy, or else thanks to traditional medicine treatments. In the latter case, the veterinarian prescribes an oral treatment and a fungicidal drug applied locally. The latter, applied directly to the lesions either with a sponge or a soft brush, eradicates the fungi. But for these treatments to be effective and also to prevent recurrence, it is essential to administer them to the dog for a month. It is also essential that its owner have all of its animals, cats, hamsters, etc., treated, including asymptomatic carriers. Humans living in the household should also be treated on medical advice because even if the animals are cured afterwards, ringworm does not go away without treatment. The management of ringworm is restrictive, but the entire protocol must be followed to the letter. Thus, in parallel with treatments against ringworm, care must be taken to completely disinfect the bowls, toys, basket and blanket of each animal, litter, premises intended to accommodate its animals as well as the entire dwelling. This involves sifting through floor and wall coverings, rugs, cushions, bedding, sofa, armchairs and other furnishings. Let's not forget that dog hair gets everywhere, including in closets. Anything that can withstand bleach treatment should be cleaned with this product because the spores of dermatophytes are not resistant to it. In order to complete this disinfection, it is recommended to opt for fumigation or spraying with targeted veterinary products. 
How to prevent ringworm in dogs. It is not easy to prevent ringworm because you cannot prevent your dog from coming across an infected animal. Moreover, even if one is cautious, one is not suspicious of an asymptomatic carrier animal since there is no indication that it can be contagious. Prevention involves regular inspection of the animal